Hi, and welcome to Game of Drones, the new show where we design, build, and fight unmanned aerial vehicles, or UAVs, or as most people like to call them, drones. On previous episodes, we showed you how to make an indestructible drone airframe, the world's smallest rocket-firing drone, and we even showed you some of the world's first amateur drone-on-drone -drone aerial combat. Today we're bringing you something a little bit more complex and fun. It's a drone that shoots paintballs. It can be a little bit dangerous, so we've come to Paintball Jungle in American Canyon to test it out. Remember, never fire a paintball gun or fly a drone where it's against the law or prohibited. So don't come crying to Game of Drones if you get in trouble imitating what you see here today. This awesome drone project is really three separate systems all working together. The first is the drone itself, and we chose a popular six-rotor drone from an online company. There are other companies available selling similar models, or there are people doing it on Kickstarter, or even just open source collaborators coming up with some of these from scratch. The second part of the system is FPV, or first person video. We've got a GoPro camera mounted inside the drone, wirelessly attached to the video goggles on the ground. This allows the gunner to actually look down the barrel of the gun in real time at his target. My favorite part is the gun itself. We use the GOG Envy torn down and we have the trigger wired in with a radio receiver. We are also using a pump tank as the air supply to run the gun. We have it wired up so in the radio of an RC car's trigger will actuate the trigger on the gun, thus firing the gun. This two-person setup splits the task into two separate operations so that each operator can concentrate on one thing at a time. One person is flying the drone while the other person concentrates on acquiring and shooting targets. The result is a fast, agile, and very accurate drone. But it hasn't always been so simple. The Game of Drones team has been working on this project for months with lots of trial and error. Sometimes the drone can't lift off. Sometimes the gun jams or refuses to fire when triggered. Sometimes the gun works amazingly well. We just can't repeat it. Uh. However, I'm proud to say that we finally worked out the kinks and I can introduce to you, if not the world's first, at least the world's most practical paintball firing drone. Now let's see if we can put some actual paint on a target. And what better target to use than Eli's personal drone? This thing is used to film paintball games here at the jungle so it can take a ton of abuse before it begins to suffer. Yeah, out the way, clear line. Ah. Destroyed your camera though, Eli. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, we did. <laughs> Holy moly, just look at that. I'd say the paintball drone is more than effective at getting rounds on target. But I wonder how it would do against an actual human opponent. So that's going to be our next test. So we're going to get Eli suited up in his paintball gear and see if he can outrun the paintball drone. This should be interesting. Okay, I'm hot. Rolling. Rolling. Okay, well I would say this drone is pretty effective at hitting moving targets, whether that's other drones in the air or even people on the ground. It was a long hard road to get here, but completely worth it because in the end we created a kick-ass paintball drone and it's completely ready for battle. The question is, are you? From all of us here at Game of Drones, I'm your host and pilot Mark Kornblatt. Rotors up! <laughs>